For the City of Port Adelaide and Field Council, it was really important to us that we acted quickly. So uh, we knew that we had to respond to our residents and our businesses during this COVID-19 period. The ways that we've done that is through assisting our vulnerable and aged community. We're looking at ways that we can continue to support our businesses, but also provided rent-free periods for those who do lease our properties. They have access to our economic development team, which are a fantastic team who are there to work alongside our businesses, as well as the fact that we do have deferral of rates for those who need that option too. The City of PAE is open for business to live, work and play, and we've created this video to help you on your road to recovery. You'll hear from some experts from the Adelaide Business Hub in collaboration with the City of Port Adelaide Enfield, from the State Government and the Federal Government to find out ways that we can help. Adelaide Business Hub has partnered with the Western Alliance of Councils. We've set up a business helpline that's free for small business owners. So we've set up business experts on the other end of the line. People simply register for a callback via our website. We match them to the correct business advisor so there's no time wasted and they can spend time confidentially on the phone for free on any issue that's important to them at the moment. In addition to that, Adelaide Business Hub has partnered actually with the Commonwealth Government to deliver very targeted and very specific digital solutions programs, which of course we're all doing online at the moment. But the significant thing about that is that people get one-on-one -on -one mentoring support in addition to attending as many webinars as they want. So for $55, it's an example of a very low cost service that we're able to offer to firms uh, within the Western area and in fact across South Australia. The other significant thing that is important for small business is that if they feel that they are operating out of premises that are just not suitable to their needs, they might even be a bit nervous about renewing a long-term lease, the Adelaide Business Hub has 1,200 square metres of office and studio space and we can provide a one-stop shop with all the support and advice on site, high-speed internet that's four times the speed of NBN, a dedicated space, a professional front-of-house reception service and an opportunity for them to start taking a few calculated risks because we're looking after you, we're providing a safety net where you can test the water, test the market on that new product or opportunity or business model that you uh, want to engineer for your future. In this particular climate, the business does need to make sure that they've thought about and at least explored every new market opportunity that they have. I'd be thinking about, how can I be ready? Who do I need to talk to to be informed? And what's my strategy going forward? Governments, like any large business, there'll be small purchases that people in government will make directly with businesses so that there isn't the need to tender. So one of the things that we've done in the last 12 months is uh, created what we've called a South Australian Product and Services Directorate. The point then is, what profile does your business have? So the people that are buyers that work in the state government, do they know you exist? So all they need to do is register with us. Then one of my staff will contact them and let them understand how they actually profile their business in this directory. Then what we do is we promote that directory very heavily to all government staff, making them aware of and asking them to prioritise their purchasing requirements with local businesses. Department of Innovation and Skills, which has a lot of different support services for small business. Uh, there's a small business commissioner who can assist those businesses that are really struggling with disputes potentially with landlords or even other customers. And then my role as the industry advocate is making sure SA-based businesses understand the procurement process and understand how to pitch for government work. We've got modules on our website and we've titled this sort of category Ready to Tender. So businesses can log on whenever they like and it walks them through a series of modules to understand what they need to do to be ready to quote, to tender, even to a head contractor. Federally there's a lot of support programs that businesses can access if they want to either move forward or sort of start again. There are programs like JobKeeper. There's also assets that people can buy. There's different amounts that assets can be written off for. There's wage subsidies that are available for people if they've got trainees or apprentices. And there's a number of emergency relief 
programs that are available through both state and federal governments. It's all laid out on the ATO website and it's very, very clear and people can go in and just do a quick online chat with someone to find out. But they also do have a great book of questions and answers. Whether you're working or not, it's such a disruptive, discombobulating time. Keeping an idea of what the guidelines are around returning to work, about how you can set up your office space, what sort of cleaning practices you need to bring in, all of those things are things that people need to consider and they need to keep staff involved in the journey. There are appropriate um, plans that are available on the internet through the National Action Committee for COVID Recovery and that's got step-by-step -step guides and checklists that companies can access. My piece of advice would be to hang in there but also to understand what you're hanging in there to do. It's a good time to reflect and look at what your plan B is going to be. There are some businesses that are looking at partnering with others. So I think that sharing with others and understanding your value add is going to become more and more critical for businesses. It's a really good chance to reflect on yeah, what you do well um, and what you want to go back to. I think business owners need to understand that everyone's going to respond to this differently. So when people say they're okay, don't just take it at face value. Really check that they're coping. Make sure that there's flexibility for people because some people have had to change their entire way they operate. The only way to be sure that you're getting the right information from your business is to rely on the government websites. So treasury.gov.au has a large number of resources available. The ATO website has an enormous amount of questions and answers and resources available. Accountants have a range of information and they are keeping up to date by going to a lot of webinars and a lot of information. So they should become your best friend.